If it's mutant superpowers fans want to see, there's no need to depend on some fictional Marvel movie. There are very real people with very real gene-based super abilities all around us. First, let's begin with the fact that mutations do not mean retractable claws or the ability to control the weather. In fact, these little genetic differences typically result in very minor changes, often invisible. Mutations are the means by which nature adds new variants into the genetic pool. Sometimes that results in people having superpowers. Let us check a list of top 10 people with superpowers you probably wish you had. But before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe. Number 10. The AIDS epidemic ravaged the gay, black, and Latinx community throughout the 1980s and early 90s. But one man managed never to get sick even as friends and lovers around him fell to the then mysterious ailment. Stephen Crone was found to have a Delta-32 mutation, which protected his CD4 white blood cells from HIV. Due to this small genetic change, Crone was completely immune to HIV. Within any disease outbreak, a few individuals in a population are always found to be immune for one reason or another. These immunities can often help scientists describe the disease and devise treatments. Number 9. Person with the most weird bone structure Even if you don't know the name Javier Botet, chances are you have seen his work if you are a horror movie fan. As you see in the test footage from the movie Mama, while a lot can be done with makeup and CGI, it's no replacement for the spookiness that comes from someone with the ability to bend themselves in ungodly poses. Botet suffers from a genetic condition known as Marfan syndrome, which affects connective tissue throughout the body. People with Marfan tend to be unusually tall, with long limbs and fingers, and have abnormal flexibility. Marfan is a spectrum disease, meaning that severe cases can lead to life-threatening defects in the heart and other organs. However, those with mild symptoms can live normal, full, healthy lives. At age 5, he was diagnosed with Marfan syndrome. With hyperlaxity of certain body tissues brought about by Botet's condition has given him extremely long and fine fingers, along with a tall, thin build standing at 6 feet 6 inches, around 198 centimeters, and weighing 123 pounds. Spending his childhood in a small city north of Madrid, Javier developed a love of science fiction and the supernatural. He grew up drawing monsters and eventually moved to the capital to pursue art. While there, he started getting interested in cinema and producing short films. Botet has appeared in theater roles, including in 2010 as Frankenstein's monster in Teatros del Canal's stage adaptation of Frankenstein, as well as in television, where in 2019 Botet appeared as a member of an alien species known as the Ba'ul in one episode of Star Trek Discovery. Also in 2019, Botet appeared as a white in the Game of Thrones episode The Long Night. Number 8. Mr. Eat it All Michael Lotito was a French entertainer known as Monsieur Mangeteau, or Mr. Eats All. Throughout his career, Michael consumed all manner of non-consumable objects made of glass, rubber, and metal, which he would often accompany by downing mineral oil. One of his most impressive feats was consuming an entire Cessna 150 airplane, which he ate in small bits over the course of two years. There were a couple of things going on here. First, Michael appeared to suffer from a condition known as pica, a disorder characterized by the appetite for non-consumable foods like dirt, rocks, and metals. But what makes Michael truly notable is the abnormally thick lining in his stomach and intestines that made it possible for him to eat sharp metal objects and consume toxic substances, which would have killed a lesser person. Number 7. French Spider-Man if you thought that the only way to harness the powers of Spider-Man was to endure a radioactive spider bite, think again. 54-year-old Alain Robert, also known as the French Spider-Man, is famous for his spine-chilling feats in urban climbing. Robert is famous for his free solo climbing, 
scaling skyscrapers using no climbing equipment except for a small bag of chalk and a pair of climbing shoes. Without any safety equipment to keep him from falling, Robert hoists himself hundreds of feet in the sky, scaling multi-story buildings in broad daylight. Among his death-defying ascents, Robert has climbed the Eiffel Tower, the Empire State Building, the Canada Square Tower, the Patronus Towers in Malaysia, and the Four Seasons Hotel in Hong Kong. Although urban climbing is not technically illegal, Robert has been arrested over 100 times for trespassing and causing public disturbances. Number 6. Richard Browning He is an investor, an engineer, entrepreneur, and speaker. He founded Gravity Industries Limited in March 2017, the company behind the Daedalus Mark I, a jetpack that uses several miniature jet engines to achieve vertical flight. Browning uses his arms to control the direction and speed of the flight, whilst being shown fuel consumption among other usage data within the head-up display he wears inside the helmet. You might have heard someone else do it too. Yes, we are talking about Iron Man. Richard has been dubbed as the real-life Iron Man because of his amazing and fascinating suit. He achieved a speed of 32.02 .02 miles per hour with the suit during a Guinness World Records attempt for fastest speed in a body-controlled jet engine-powered suit. Browning is an ultra-marathon runner and former Royal Marine Reservist. He cycles to work and uses an exercise regime to drop his body weight to 72 kilograms. He was inspired by his late father, an aeronautical engineer. He really is our real-life Iron Man. Number 5. Man Who Can Withstand Freezing Temperature Using the Buddhist meditation technique Tumo, Dutch daredevil Wim Hof keeps his body temperature steady while enduring extremely cold conditions. Hoff, whose feats have earned him the nickname Iceman, has completed several marathons and climbed Mount Kilimanjaro in sub-freezing temperatures wearing only shorts. Hoff holds 20 cold endurance world records, including at 1 hour, 13 minutes, and 48 seconds, the record for the longest ice bath. He has set Guinness World Records for swimming under ice and prolonged full-body contact with ice and still holds the record for a barefoot half marathon on ice and snow. He attributes these feats to his Wim Hof method, a combination of frequent cold exposure, breathing techniques, and meditation. Preliminary and proof of principle studies of Hof's method, as well as similar breathing practices, have shown that hyperventilating can temporarily suppress the innate immune response, as well as temporarily increase heart rate and adrenaline levels. Hoff has set the world record for the longest time in direct, full-body contact with ice a total of 16 times, including 1 hour, 42 minutes, and 22 seconds on January 23, 2009. When exposed to cold, the human body can increase heat production by shivering, or non-shivering thermogenesis, in which brown adipose tissue, also known as brown fat, converts chemical energy to heat. Mild cold exposure is known to increase BAT activity. People have died while attempting the Wim Hof method, so be safe. Number 4. Dean Karnazes Dean Karnazes, named by Men's Fitness as the fittest man on the planet, is the real-life version of The Flash, only with better stamina. Karnazes was born in Inglewood, in Los Angeles County, California, southwest of Los Angeles, to Nick and Fran Karnazes, parents of Greek ancestry. He had two siblings, brother Craig and sister Perry, who died in an automobile accident at the age of 18. As an endurance athlete, Karnazes has submitted himself to some of the most physically and mentally grueling athletic tests imaginable. Most notably, Karnazes has conquered a 350-mile run without stopping, a sweltering sprint through the 120-degree heat of Death Valley, and a marathon to the South Pole, where temperatures drop to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Though Karnazes has already built quite the running resume, he continues to search for new ways to challenge his mind and body. 
Recently, the Super Runner completed 50 marathons, one in each state, over the course of 50 consecutive days. Number 3. Blind Man Who Can See Daniel Kish can't see with his eyes, as he had both of them removed during a childhood battle with retina cancer. But he has so finely tuned his hearing that he can navigate his bike through heavy traffic, climb trees, camp alone, and dance fluidly. His power is echolocation. To orient himself, Kish clicks his tongue and listens closely as the sound bounces off objects around him and returns to his ears at different volumes. Bats, dolphins, and beluga whales use a similar technique, biosonar, to navigate the ocean. Kish is so adept at getting around using echolocation that other blind people hire him to help them get around. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. Real Life Popeye Jeff Dabe is a real-life Popeye with 19-inch forearms. He was born in 1963, a happy, healthy little boy. Doctors couldn't find a single condition that would explain what would soon become increasingly clear. Dabe is a real-life Popeye. That little boy was born with unusually large hands that kept on growing with him although there is no scientific explanation for them. Dave has never really seen his unusual arms as a burden, and why should he? The remarkable limbs made joining the arm wrestling team in high school a breeze. In high school, he competitively arm wrestled, but after an injury, he was forced to quit. Dave's forearms have a 19-inch circumference, and each hand can hold an entire basketball. Now at age 52, Jeff has decided to get back into arm wrestling and fulfill his dreams. Instead of competing with his injured right hand, he now just uses his left. Number 1. A Six-Finger Sinker Former MLB relief pitcher Antonio Alfonseca was known for his killer sinker. While this pitch was surely the result of years of practice and perfection, it's difficult to conclude that it wasn't also at least partially due to the sixth finger on his throwing hand. Alfonseca was born with a rare genetic condition known as polydactyly, which results in extra fingers or toes. In fact, El Pulpo, or the octopus as his teammates called him, has an additional extremity on each hand and foot. While it's debatable if the extra finger actually helped his pitching, it's hard to imagine that it had no effect. That is our list of top 10 people with superpowers. Which superpower would you like to have? Tell us in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.